is David Vai, the Technical Marketing Director with AWR Group from National Instruments. We're here at IMS 2019 in Boston. And I'm sitting, I'm actually meeting for the first time Elias Gafari. Hello, well, Elias. Hello. I'll shake nice your hand. You. Nice to meet Elias, you. Elias, uh, why don't you tell, you're uh, with Richardson RFPD. Yes. And what's your role with them? So I'm the applications, uh, field applications engineer with Richardson RFPD based out of Detroit, Michigan. I cover central U.S. and Canada. Okay, and some of your customers are focused on what type of applications? So some of the customers are focused on, uh, on automotive applications, antennas for automotive. A friend of yours just walked by. <laughs> That's okay, Hello, we'll cover it later. Um, so automotive applications? Automotive applications. Which would include uh, so, communications or radar? or what's So the, no, not radar. That includes uh, on the receive side, GPS and satellite radio, okay. SDARs, and then uh, cellular and AM, FM. Okay. Um, so on the GPS side, it could be just a single band or it could be dual band, mm -hmm. and then the satellite radio, 2.3, 2 to 2.345 okay. gigahertz. What, what are some of the design challenges for that so application? So the design challenges are uh, the uh, crosstalk between antennas. Okay. Um, and then, uh, you know, the uh, overloading of one antenna to the LNA of the, uh, you know, from the, uh, to the GPS or SDARs. Mm -hmm. And then uh, shadowing is also an issue. What's shadowing? So shadowing is um, one antenna. So let's say if you have a patch antenna and then uh, the other antenna is behind it on it or in front of it, then the radiation pattern is going to um, get shadowed by the physical, uh, uh, you know, the physical uh, location of the okay. antenna in front of it. And, and losing the signal or degrading uh, the quality yeah, of the signal? Yeah, you may get like or? either, it may act as a, uh, a as a block, it may okay. act as a director, you know, so it may focus the beam forward away from the element that's behind it. Okay. So this is one challenge, and then mainly the bigger, the biggest challenge would be the noise figure. Okay, well what's the challenges with that? So getting the, you know, with the uh, with uh, the filters, so because of the interference, you have to have filters in front of the LNAs, and yeah. those filters have insertion loss in them, yeah. and that insertion loss, uh, in-band insertion loss, translates to noise figure added to the system. Okay, yeah, sure. So you wanted the, uh, the best out-of-band rejection so that you can be immune to the interference. Yeah but then with the least amount of insertion loss because you want to be uh, immune, you know, so you want you don't want to add that much noise into the okay. into the LNA. Okay, so so maybe a step back a little bit. Richardson RFPD, you guys are, are your distributors and you do a lot of design support for your customers to integrate the, the components that you represent and support yeah. into design? So, so we are the uh, distributor of RF components. Yep. Uh, our model is we do have uh, a technical team uh, that we all came from design backgrounds. Okay. My design background is antenna designs um, and LNAs and amplifiers, mainly for automotive mm -hmm. uh, applications. My counterpart on the East Coast uh, has uh, is based out of Atlanta, and he mm -hmm. comes from the power amplifiers uh, applications. Expertise. Okay, sure. And yeah. then on the West Coast, point-to-point uh, yeah. -point and radio communication. Okay. So uh, we offer the technical support to our customers uh, as far as uh, design support, uh, mm -hmm. maybe tuning on the bench as well, some simulation support okay. as well to yeah. uh, help the customer get to their spec uh, as quickly as possible. Right, right, right. So, and that's how we come into play with the yes. AWR's tools. And that's office how and the AWR comes. Uh, an example, of, uh, I'm working on a, uh, a lineup for, LNA lineup for okay. the satellite radio, SDARS, uh, which is a complete lineup. Uh, there's a pre-filter and then LNA, and then an in-between filter and an output stage. Okay. And those amplifiers require matching on the input and the output. And because of the proximity to the neighboring components in the multi-band multi module, mm -hmm. um, it requires um, doing it on the bench will be a lot of work. Okay, yeah. So um, I modeled the whole lineup in AWR once I met the specifications 
on the simulator, printed the circuit board, and uh, you know, tested it on the bench. I needed to do a little bit of minor tweaking for okay. the component values, yeah. um, but it made my uh, iterative process much less iterations. So now okay. this time around, it was only one iteration oh, that great. I had yeah. to do. Yeah, yeah. And, and I helped my customers so that they may, they, it may take them much longer, it may take them more, but that um, helped the customer in buying the parts that we, that mm -hmm. we sell. Um, well that, no, that's great. Uh, we always love to hear that, that simulation, we believe it, simulation will cut down on, uh, on an iterative cut and try uh, yeah. approach to design. Um, and, the, and so the parts that you, you, you uh, use to construct the LNA chain, uh, uh, you mentioned there's some off chip, there's some uh, mod, uh, matching, impedance matching on the board. Right. Uh, so um, matching for noise figure or, or well, gain so or yes. So loss? matching on the input stage, uh, you know, the input of the device you match for noise figure. <laughs> okay. And then the in between, uh, you know, the output stage and the input of the input stage you match for um, gain and the inner stage matching, okay. especially with the filter in between as well because it requires okay. some attention. Uh, okay. to the in-band and the out-of-band reflections yeah. as well. And then the output matching network off the output stage, uh, you get the, uh, you know, the, the, the gain, flatness, and the output return loss of the whole system. Okay, okay, and do you, is there a, the, to, to represent those components in the simulation, you had the adequate models available to you? Yes, and, so and uh, it's a small signal. Uh, simulation, so okay. the S parameters uh, was what I used as a model, not the nonlinear because it's it's a small signal yeah. application. So we're using the two filters from Qualcomm that I had the S parameters for, okay. and the S parameters for the two LNAs from Gorilla Ara. Okay. And with those, you know, built the simulation model with the S parameters, and then simulated each stage individually, and then integrated the. The, the four stages together. Okay. okay. And you're you're just doing the uh, all the transmission lines in between these components. You're using yes. like microstrip lines. So models yeah, or... uh, it's 99.9% uh, okay. lumped element okay. design because uh, for the automotive, the you know it's cost sensitive application, and yeah. uh, we were using FR4. Okay. Material, and you don't want to rely on uh, or uh, FR4 is lossy. And you know, vary you know the uh, material varies. So these uh, distributed elements on the board were short enough that they wouldn't influence the that, performance a whole lot. Okay. Especially yeah, at two point three gigahertz. Yeah, but then yeah. they were more for the components, you know, like the pads and the, the connections. Yeah, to mount and everything. But there yeah. weren't any uh, um, matching. Okay. You know, uh, components. Just uh, you know, uh, printed components. Okay, that sounds great. And is there follow-up work to this? Or uh... so the follow-up is um, what we did so far is once we uh, showed the reference design on the bench uh, working and where it needs to be. Now the customer has the board. Mm -hmm. They're going to test it in their lab, and then you know feedback to us. And then the next step would be incorporate in production. If there's more work that they want us to do, then we'll. To let us know. Have you done yield analysis before with our tools? Uh, I've done in my previous life. In your previous life. So yeah, okay. previous life, I used AWR a lot. Yeah. Okay. And I've yeah. done yield. I've done uh, analysis. I've yeah, done that might be an interesting follow-up to do some. Uh, yeah, but some on this yield. particular example that we just did, uh, it wasn't really. It was. This is an initial step for them okay. to see. So I just wanted it them. I, I wanted to save them some time mm -hmm. um, on their bench, yeah. and obviously to promote the you know uh, the components that we use, and then to show them how the consistency level between the simulate the simulator and the bench. Yeah, yeah. And it really showed. I mean, to do uh, to get to where you want to, you know, uh, the uh, consistency between the uh, bench results and the. Uh, simulation results mm -hmm. in one iteration is yeah. 
It is it's quite good. Yeah, yes. yeah, and, and proof of concept and try to yeah. you know get it close yeah. enough to to have dialogue with your customers. Right. So I mean, our model is to support our customers yeah. to get uh, the results as quickly as as efficiently yeah. as possible. Uh, I didn't want to do more work on it. At yeah. least not the the first iteration because I wanted to get their feedback. Yeah. yeah. Sure. You know, where how they like to proceed. So we got them to a point where it's a very good level. Mm -hmm. uh, now, uh, you know, once they test it, they'll give us their feedback and yeah. we'll go from there. You can certainly make it a, a, a much more complicated uh, project. Sure, but just yeah. for yeah. a proof of concept right. for yeah. a customer. So, so the customer isn't really RF uh, design savvy, and that's why uh, Richardson RPD has the field application team yeah. to help that is, uh, get people. Yes, that is, that is pretty much it uh, okay. for the customers that uh, don't have the tools or the uh, RF expertise yeah. Yeah. Uh, to do it themselves. That doesn't mean that we don't support the experts as right. well. Uh, right. There was, uh, depends, they might be uh, low on resources. Uh, mm -hmm. We may want to push, uh, you know, uh, if they're close to uh, like a design freeze. Uh, okay. And we wanted to promote another component instead of the component they use, okay. you know. So we try to, okay. uh, uh, you know, we, we do it faster and we show them, you know, the advantage of the one part versus the other. Yeah. yeah. Well, I would I would imagine you do this enough. You know some of the tricks of of, of sure. what everyone's trying to do and how to build smarter, how to configure. Uh, components to reduce cost in their bill of materials. And, yes, I'll, uh, back to your question about the uh, distributed uh, elements. I had a customer a few weeks ago, probably a month ago, they wanted to use a uh, Doherty combiner, uh -huh. but the part is for a lower, uh, I'm sorry, a higher frequency okay. than their application. So uh, we did not want them to go to another vendor for that sure. part. So all it took is, uh, you know, the part and few external distributed elements mm -hmm. uh, to get the phase to, where we want it to be. Okay, sure. So I used yeah. AWR as well to get the external, um, you know, lines yeah. to get the phase where it needs to be and the insertion loss yeah. uh, where it needs to be. And again, but again, it was, I wouldn't consider it a crude, uh, you know, simulation, but... Um, you know, uh, involved enough to show them the promising results that we're yeah. after. Yeah. And then, you know, they, so I'm waiting for their feedback. Okay. The, la the last I heard was they're happy with what they saw. And uh, so it may be just a one iteration as well. Okay. And this is pure uh, distributed. So yeah. just a distributed model. Yeah. yeah so, the so distributed it, model on the circuit board. Okay. Yeah. It sounds like uh, we're providing solutions for, you know, simple proof of concept through more complicated uh, yes. design work, and we've got that covered for you, and so the tool's working well, and yes. uh, I, I like our partnership, and, and wish you success moving forward, and more yes. customers Thank you. for you. And, Appreciate yeah, it, like thanks it. for your support. It's great to meet you. Thank you, Good great luck to meet that. you too, thank you. Okay, and have a great show. You too, thank, thank you. Thank you all.